5 Eerie and Strange Historical Mysteries History is filled with unusual mysteries and events, but there are some cases that are more stranger than others. The ones on this list are collections of some of the most unusual cases we've ever come across. These are five eerie and strange historical mysteries. Number five, Middle East Stone Circles. In the 1920s, British commander Lionel Reese decided to fly over the deserts of Jordan. While doing so, he began taking aerial photos and found several large and unusual stone circles. Although many were baffled and curious by Reese's photographs, they went ignored until about 60 to 70 years later. It was only during this time when archaeologists like David Kennedy and his team started looking into the mystery of the stone circles. As the team began systematically looking for them, they flew over the Middle East area and found 12 circles in Jordan, one in Syria, and two in southeastern Turkey. Despite being located far away from each other, they have strikingly similar constructions, leading Kennedy to think they are all related. High-resolution images and close-up inspections of some of the circles showed they were built with stone walls only a few feet high. The circles originally didn't have openings, and whoever used them and for what purpose had to hop over them to get inside. Some have speculated that they may have been used for keeping livestock, but the walls were too low to keep animals inside. According to archaeologists, construction of these circles wouldn't be complicated, but they would still take several days and over a hundred men or so to complete them. Some of the near-perfect ones might have required some architect to guide the workers, but other circles showed less planning and construction. Archaeologists date the structures to somewhere between 2000 and 4500 BC. There are also more recent materials found in some of them dating to the Roman period, so it's likely the Romans used them or built on top of them later on. One of the circles found near Homs, Syria, was studied by locals before it was destroyed. Its position revealed that if you stand inside of it, you get a panoramic view of a basin, which would have helped overlook crops and settlements. Whether this was its main purpose and the point of the others, we may never know. Today, aside from aerial photography, the research is being held together with satellite imagery, leading to new discoveries and more circles that may have been hiding in plain sight all along. Number four, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas B. Cumpson. If you look through old newspapers, you'll sometimes find crazy stories from history. And one of those came from the Bristol Daily Post and the London Times back in 1873. On December 8th of that year, married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas B. Cumpson headed to Bristol to go on a holiday. The two checked into the Victoria Hotel. It was supposed to be a pleasant vacation, but from there, it only became their worst nightmare. Well, inside their room one early evening, they heard unusual noises coming from inside or near their bedroom. Although they complained about it to the landlady, who also heard the noises that night, she didn't think much of it. After the noises stopped, the couple retired to bed. But by 3 a.m., the couple was awoken again by the same loud noises. Aside from those, they also felt the floor beneath them was giving away. Both shouted for help and noticed their shouts echoed around and were repeated to them by a strange and unseen force. Mr. Cumpson said the floor they were on suddenly opened up and they were dragged into it. Mrs. Compson managed to pull out her husband before he was dragged into the hole and the two of them escaped through a nearby window. The two completely panicked about what had just happened to them. They thought criminals had tried to kidnap them. At some point, Mr. Compson fired his gun and the local police arrested them for disorderly conduct. During their trial, the landlady testified about hearing the strange noises too, but didn't have any standout memory of that night. When police checked the couple's room, they found nothing unusual. Everything was in place, 
In the end, the court decided that what Mr. and Mrs. Cumpson went through was a form of a collective hallucination. The charges were later dropped by the magistrate because the couple were so believable in their story. As weird as it sounds, this isn't the first of its kind. In the 1940s, Reverend Biles from Yilton, South Devon in England, was with his wife when they suddenly found a hole in the path of their churchyard. This hole was so deep they had to throw a stone to find the bottom. Worried someone might fall into it, they decided to cover it up and hurried back in to get the planks. But by the time they returned, they realized that the hole was gone. A similar story happened to a student nurse while she was in her own room. She was having tea at 8 a.m., when out of nowhere a hole formed on her bedroom floor. It was so big that it occupied most of her room. She could not see through to the bottom and bizarrely, she heard a voice telling her to jump in. She decided not to and the hole vanished soon after. Mr. and Mrs. Cumpson's experience, while truly bizarre, doesn't seem to be unique. Was it a portal opening to some other dimension? Who knows? But stories about holes randomly opening up seem to span across many different cultures and are told all throughout history. However, until now, no one knows what the hole is exactly and why it suddenly appears and disappears. Number 3. UFO and Dracula's Painting UFO sightings aren't anything new but when they're seen in a 15th century wall fresco, it gives people room for pause. Even more baffling is where the wall fresco was found. It was discovered inside a 700-year-old monastery in Transylvania, the hometown of Vlad the Impaler, also known as the real-life Dracula. Although the nickname Vlad the Impaler wasn't added until after his death, it was attached to him after his habit of impaling his enemies and leaving them in public display as a show of power. The image showcasing the supposed UFO was first snapped by tourist Catalina Borda, then sent to a UFO research group for evaluation. The image shows a church of some sort engulfed in flames. Hovering over it is what looks to be a large disc sending a plume of smoke towards the sky. Some people suggest that painting and the monastery were built and could have been standing when Vlad the Impaler was still alive. But who did the painting exactly and when it was created still remains a mystery. According to UFO experts, the painting deserves careful examination and that the idea it depicts what could be accounted as a modern UFO sighting is possible. This isn't the first time UFOs are mentioned or are depicted in historical artworks. There was an illustrated book called Prodigiorum Liber that recounts an ancient Roman battle. During the fight, the soldiers witnessed what looked to be a round object in the sky, and it was depicted in the same way as the wall painting in Transylvania. However, there are those who argue and say the painting or other old artworks aren't depicting UFOs at all. For instance, in the 17th century, French coins showcased what looked to be UFOs, but even ufologists say that they were meant to depict military shields. Others add that the painting in Transylvania was likely created no later than 1523 because of the German Bible quotation written below it. The year 1523 was the first time the Bible was translated into German. But if the painting has a picture that clearly looks like a UFO, one has to wonder why would it be in there? The simple answer would be that the UFO is actually witnessed and thus painted in order to showcase it to the world. Questions about this painting still remain. Did a UFO really visit Transylvania during the time Vlad the Impaler was alive? Is the painting actually depicting a UFO in the first place? Or is it an artist's rendition of something else? We may never know. Number 2. Vinland Map History has always taught us Christopher Columbus discovered America, and for decades it's been celebrated that way. But all of this was thrown into disarray when in 1957, 
A newly discovered map seemed to reveal Columbus wasn't the first to have found the American continent. Known as the Vinland map, it seems to serve as proof that the Vikings and earlier Europeans have managed to expand and explore a huge chunk of the world. This includes lands like Africa, Asia, Europe, Iceland, Greenland, and an area known as Vinland, or what we now know as North America. This unique map reveals Europeans were already aware of the New World even before Columbus had set his sails. Of course, we know Native Americans were already on the land, but there are still plenty of questions regarding this map, especially about its authenticity. It first came into existence when a Spanish-based Italian dealer named Enzo Firajoli tried selling it. It was discovered along with some medieval text known as the Historia Tartorum, which has been proven to have been written in 1440. Hoping to figure out if the map is authentic, in-depth studies have been conducted. Several experts have pointed to inconsistencies in the map's supposed origin as well as its construction. For instance, in a 1973 analysis of the map, it showed the ink used contained anatas, a kind of titanium dioxide which was said to be only available during the 1920s. This would lead people to think that the map was a modern creation. However, there are those who question the accuracy of this test. Skeptics further point out that the Latin spelling and the depiction of Greenland as an island are also evidence of forgery. Radiocarbon dating points to this map being created between 1423 and 1445. Today, many believe the Vinland map is nothing but a clever forgery, but a small few still believe it's genuine. Despite several high-tech analysis done on it, there's still no conclusion whether it's real or not. This debate surrounding the Vinland map has allowed it to remain one of the most intriguing and valuable historic documents to date. Number 1. Chinese Alien Wars There's always been talk of aliens having visited Earth in the ancient past, but to have waged war against the Chinese? Pieces of old Asian scrolls and various artifacts seem to record that this actually happened. According to the scraps of text and oral history, these alien forces invaded the northern regions of China, enslaved the people, and forced them to build various structures. The only reason the Chinese ever defeated the alien invaders was because they were helped by another group. Indigenous giant men, about 12 feet tall with red hair and leather suits of armor, assisted the Chinese in repelling the invaders. Where does all this information come from, I'm sure you're asking? Well, many of these stories were passed on in scraps through oral and written history from northern China as well as the southern Siberian people. Some of the earliest records were carved in an archaic language known as Jiaguin, a precursor to the modern Chinese characters we know today. Aside from this, countless sculptures done on ox scapulas and tortoise plastrons also depicted parts of this history. Other portions were written on rice paper and silk, where few have survived. According to the pieced together record, the aliens came from another star system and arrived in northern China around 30th century BCE, 300 years prior to the invention of the modern calendar. Although there's no written records coming from that period, a recently discovered 3,000 year old rock carving showing what looks to be an alien invader was found by a Chinese scientist in Guangdong. The carving matched the depiction of the aliens in the ancient scripts. They were described as being tall, slim, and had worn a breathing apparatus or helmet when they stepped outside of their craft for extended periods. Their helmets had two to three antenna-like protrusions described as slender bamboo shoots by the scribes who recorded them. Once the aliens arrived in the regions, the humans were forced into slave labor and tasked to build pyramids. These pyramids also had pipes designed to suck some form of energy from the earth. It's been speculated that hundreds of pyramids crisscross China and most of them are over 10,000 years old. 
Although the Chinese government has kept this mum and downplayed their existence, countless people have claimed to have discovered and photographed these pyramids across various Chinese provinces. Although there were revolts during the alien invasion, they were short-lived as the aliens had technology on their side. It wasn't until an ancient race of giants who may have existed on every continent during the time helped to defeat the invaders. The giants are said to have come from the northwest and swarmed into the region to help in the war. They were described as ferocious and strong, capable of picking up the aliens and breaking their backs. When the aliens finally left, the slaves were freed, and over 5,000 years since the end of the war, the aliens have never returned. Many of the villagers tried to preserve their history, but as you can see, only scattered fragments have remained. So there were five eerie and strange historical mysteries. We always look to history for guidance and to inform us of how we should live our lives, but in cases like these, they conjure up more questions than they can offer us answers. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. We have new videos coming out every Wednesday and Saturday for you to check out. So remember to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.